Phases of the Moon by Emily. Today's lesson for my screencast is compare what characteristics on Earth would change if the moon didn't exist. Here is a diagram that shows all of the different phases. As the moon revolves around the Earth, people will see different phases in a cycle. The cycle takes about 29.5 days, so about a month. This is a waning quarter moon. This is a waning gibbous moon. This is a full moon. This is a waxing gibbous moon. This is a waxing quarter moon. This is a waxing crescent moon, a new moon, and a waning crescent moon. All of the phases depend on the way that the sun's rays reflect on it. Also, there is one side of the moon that we never see. It is known to be called the dark side of the moon. Next, waning and waxing is how the how to describe how the moon is lit up. Waxing is when it seems to be becoming more lit up. A good way to remember this is that waxy things can look shiny. Waning is when the moon seems to be getting smaller in size and less lit up. These are, these are examples for each. Here are some final facts about the moon. Lunar and solar eclipses can occur and the moon's tide and the, and the moon affects the Earth's tides. A lunar eclipse occurs when the full moon moves into Earth's shadow. These eclipses look a coppery red. Solar eclipses are when the new moon briefly moves between Earth and the sun. The moon casts its shadow on Earth. Solar eclipses are much more rare than lunar eclipses. The moon also affects the tides. The cause is the gravitational attraction of the moon and the sun. The sun and the moon pull on the water in the ocean in the oceans and the solid part of the earth. Now can you answer the lesson question?